Hello and welcome to another episode of the iPad Lettering Show where it is my job to bring you the latest reviews and tutorials about everything and anything iPad lettering related. In today's quick tutorial I want to show you how you can use the masking feature in Procreate. This is a topic that a lot, a lot of you are unsure about but it's actually quite simple and it's very useful. To start off, let's have a look at an example I have made previously where the masking feature comes in really handy. You can see here how we have got nice and clean sharp edges around the leather. And the nice thing about the mask is that I was able to place the flowers and the leaves over the edge of the leather and then cover them up with that mask. So if I'm going to open up the um, layer panel here and turn off the mask you will see how the flowers here come over the edge of my leather but thanks to the mask it's very easy to cover those up and then create the nice sharp edge. Now let's let's have a look how all of this works. So I'm going to go back to the gallery and you can see here I've got a stack of initials templates. So this is a brand new set of templates that I've made and it contains all the letters of the alphabet including the numbers. So I'm going to show you just with one example how this works. So I'm going to bring up my letter Z or Z template. And to start with, let's have a quick look at our layers. So you can see all the templates, they have the same structure. They have a, a layer with a filled leather, which is currently turned off. So I'm just going to turn it on so you can see the shape of the leather. And then there is another layer which has the outline of the leather. Now let's zoom in a little bit so that you can see. You can see here this is a very fine line. And this line is here as a guide so that we know where we can place the elements onto the canvas. And then we have a layer that says paint here. This is an empty layer. This is where you want to add your um, artwork, your flowers, your colors, anything you would like to paint goes on this layer. And then we also have a layer which is called paper texture, which has the um, multiply blend mode. So this just gives it a little bit of a watercolor texture if you would like that. If you don't want the texture, it's very easy to just turn off the visibility and then um, it doesn't appear. And then also at the top here, I've got an optional sketching layer. Um, you can use that if you like. I usually use it above my texture for any sketches, but that's totally up to you. Also, if you would like the sketching layer to be below your painting layer, feel free to move it. So you can just drag it down and then place it below the paint layer um, to create your sketch in case you want to do that. All right, so um, let's have a look now how the masking feature works. And to do that, I'm going to start off on my painting layer. And what I will do um, to begin with is just use some of the flowers that um, you've seen in the previous example. They're not quite the same flowers, but you can get them from my website in the florals section. I'm just going to show you quickly where they are. So if I go to the website and then um, go to Procreate Brushes and Florals. You can see here there's a large selection of floral brushes. You can get individual ones, you can get a brush set. And then we also have here the Step-by-Step -step Floral Starter Brushes, which is a set of five brushes, and they are all free, and they work perfectly for this example. I'm just gonna bring them up so you can see what they look like. So we'll have, we have um, some leaves, and then also a couple of peonies. So these are a nice selection. If you would like to have some more variety in your flowers, um, there is a whole bundle of um, florals as well. So let's have a look through these. And there is a, a sort of a larger range of florals if you would like to use these. But you can find them all under the floral section on my website. So now let's go back to Procreate and let's start painting some of these florals. So I'm going to go back and I will choose my floral brushes, which are, let's see where I have them. I have lots of them, so I need to find them first. Um, they are here. 
all right so there they are and to start with I'm just going to use my penny brush and I will paint it onto my canvas so I'm just going to place this randomly and you can see I'm placing it on the edge of the template and then what you can do is maybe rotate those florals and place them where you want them to go so I'll place them just making sure that I have all my edges covered here and then what also looks nice is if you make the flowers different sizes so maybe make this one a little bit smaller and try not to make it bigger because then the um, the, fl the flower will look a little bit pixelated so you can make it smaller which is fine but just try not to make it bigger if you want it to be bigger um, choose your brush size here and just make it bigger to start with and then you won't have a problem with the resolution I'm going to do this one and then let's also add some leaves so I'm going to create a new layer and the leaves I want to be, let's see, I want it to be green. And I will choose this type of leaf. And so I just randomly place those leaves. And you can see they're not very dark. That This is easy to fix. What you can do is duplicate the layer. Just duplicate it a few times until you have them in the um, darkness that you like. And then merge those layers together layers together into one layer and then now let's place our leaves around the letter as well so you can turn it around and just make sure that you cover all the edges of your letter this one oops it doesn't have to be perfect I'm just trying to align it nicely like this and then this one can go there in the corner. The most important part is actually covering the corners because that's where you will notice the most if it's not covered. Okay, and then I think I want a few more. So I'm just going to paint some more. But actually, I'm going to paint them on a new layer. So I'm going to do four more. And again, I will duplicate the layer a couple of times and merge it and then place those leaves as well so I'm going to put it there and this one can go here And of course, you don't just have to cover the edge of the letter. Definitely fill the inside as well. But this is just for demo purposes. So feel free to fill um, the letter any way you want. Okay, so we've got this one. And let's see where we can place this. I just want to make sure I have got all my corners covered, which looks pretty good. So this one is, this one can just go here in the middle like that. All right, so now... Um, you can see this looks really messy, but now there's an easy way to fix this up. So the first thing I will do is um, select the filled leather layer. So I tap on it, and then I tap again on the thumbnail, which brings up the flyer menu. And then from here, I'm going to choose select. And you can see now, this has now created a selection around my leather. And the next step is to create the mask, which is very simple. So select the thumbnail of your flowers layer and then tap mask. And then we have a mask. You can see that here. So we've got the layer mask, which is attached to your painting layer. And now we're going to do the same thing for the other layers as well. So tap again on the thumbnail, hit mask, and then the same again for our third layer with the remaining leaves and mask that and then once you've um, masked all your layers you can deselect your selection 
and now here we go you can see how easy it is to create this beautiful looking um, floral initials leather with a few simple steps now florals is not the only thing you can do with these templates so I want to show you another technique and let's choose a different leather for this so I'm going to go back to the gallery and I will choose my W for this one so now um, another thing we can do which is quite fun is just to add some color so I'm going to make sure first that I'm on the painting layer and then I will choose a different color and this time I'm going to use one of the painting brushes that comes with Procreate so if we have a look through all our brush sets um, we want to find the one that says artistic and then select oil paint and I'm going to make this as, as big as it goes and now I'm just going to paint some random strokes here and again making sure that I'm covering all the edges of my template so this is very random and then maybe a different color and the cool thing about this brush, as you can see, this is almost like a, a real paintbrush and the color kind of mixes on the canvas as well. So this is pretty cool. So you just do that. And then once you're happy with the colors on your layer, we do the same thing that we've done before. Select your field leather, um, go select. And then on your paint layer, um, hit your uh, mask like that, and then unselect. So now we have got a beautiful looking W with the filled um, color. So now uh, the nice thing about having this mask is you don't have to stop here. You don't have to finish all your painting before you add the mask, but you can actually add more colors now. So let's say you might not like this too much, maybe add some more color. Make sure that you select the paint layer. You've seen before um, that the layer mask will have the dark blue highlight. So what you might want to do is make sure that you select your actual painting layer and so that this is the dark blue highlight here and then maybe choose a different color maybe for some reason I like pink and yellow these days I don't know I never used to like this color combo but it's kind of I think it's kind of interesting so I just add some some more um, color to this just randomly and then you can see now when I paint over the edge it doesn't go over the edge it's almost like um, using the alpha lock but the beautiful thing about this is that um, if I wanted to use the outside of this layer, I can now just turn off my mask. And then you can see I have all the information still available. If I was using the alpha lock, then um, all the outside of my, of my artwork wouldn't be available anymore. So now I'm going to turn the mask back on. And then you can take this even further. You can um, now, let, let's say, maybe use the smudge tool. So I'm going to use the smudge tool as well with the um, oil paint brush. And then just see what happens when we smudge this a little bit. So you could create some beautiful paint effects like that. And again, you don't have to worry about destroying the shape of your leather because we have the mask on it, which is really cool. There you have it. This is a quick tutorial about how to use the masking feature in Procreate. Um, if you like doing this, then definitely have a look on my website where you will find these templates. I'm going to add a link to the description of this video where you can find the templates. And um, let me know if there's anything else you want me to show you. I'm always happy to create new tutorials for you guys. Um, and have a great day.